Hello everybody, Sam here and welcome to the fourth episode of our Zoo Tycoon mini-series. In this episode we're going to be building two exhibits that ultimately fail, and we're going to build one exhibit that doesn't fail as much. Now, can I first of all just apologise for the delay in this video? Um, I've kind of had to balance out schoolwork and doing that gaming trio, so um, I really apologise for the late release date of this video, but hopefully we will be getting um, many more videos coming out faster and sooner as well. So um, if you just keep on the lookout for that, of course, um, they'll, you can always request games for us to play, and of course I will look at them. Now recently I did get the Sonic Mega Collection, and as promised I will do a Let's Play on Sonic 3, or Sonic and Knuckles, I'm not sure. So that's why I'm asking you to post in the comments section which of those games you'd like me to do. Sonic 3 or Sonic and Knuckles? Or maybe go for both of them and do Sonic 3 and Knuckles. It's your decision. So anyway, here I'm just finishing up the Atari Jaguar exhibit. If you just remember, I made this like starting in the last episode. And you will see how much it fails, like the console. Um, I, I don't know why it failed. It's probably just because I didn't get a big enough exhibit. But ultimately it did fail, and that's what matters. This was going to be like my last exhibit, but since I couldn't actually do it properly because I'd set it up in the wrong place really, because as you can see it's not very big exhibit space, um, I set it up in the wrong place, so that's why it ultimately failed I suppose. But I'm trying every effort here to just see what the Jaguar likes, and it, he keeps on getting frowny face, but um, as you can see there of course, um, none of this none of the trees or anything are working and he just really doesn't like any of them but also as you can see we've got a lot more visitors coming to our zoo and I finally hit the jackpot there with the jaguar but um they're all coming to the two little rest areas we've got there and of course they'll have gone to the exhibits as well which is quite good it's the goal we're going for for our zoo so that's ultimately what we want So I'm just checking up on the other exhibits right now, and as you can see there as well, um, I'm just, you know, checking to see what I can do with this land. I increase it there, and you'll see why in a minute. Um, it's for another exhibit, but you'll see about that soon. Not right now, but you know, soon. So. There we go. The downfall. The Jaguar is unhappy. So I just delete it. And then I try and do something else with the exhibit. And rather stupidly, I put a chimpanzee in there. Now please don't ask what I was doing here, because I really don't know why I put a chimpanzee in there, but then he runs away and escapes. So ultimately, that plan failed. And then I'm just going to have to end up, yeah, see, Chimpanzee 1 has escaped. So now I'm just going to have to end up deleting the entire exhibit, which is not good, really. I mean, I wanted to try and get another exhibit out before, um, you know, ending the zoo, really, but I suppose that wasn't it. I do get one more exhibit, though, but obviously this wasn't it. So I'm just demolishing all the fence and getting the terrain back to normal. The funny thing is, the guests probably don't even notice. They're probably just, like, can you imagine walking to a zoo and then you just see the gates mysteriously disappearing? <laughs> it's never happened when I go to any zoo. I'm sure it hasn't happened to anyone either. But now I try with a different animal, a Siberian tiger, which I put in here which was what the raised land was for, because they like raised land. <laughs> so I make the gate here, just near the lion enclosure I suppose, because they're kind of re ugh, not really related to each other, but yeah, people kind of associate tigers with lions, so I thought this would probably be the best place to put it. So I do that. Then I set down a path there, just a little one for the zoo to keepers to get into the gate. Then I place them down, and the first thing I do, of course, is just look at what they need. 
and there are quite a few zookeeper recommendations on here as well, um, mostly relating to the terrain, but there are some others as well. <laughs> wow. Look at everyone there. Now I look at my costs as well, which is just terrible. I've hardly made a profit. Although I think I am getting a bit better. So as you can see, the Siberian tiger needs quite a lot. And I am putting the raised terrain in now. Well, I thought I'd already done this. But um, it's hard to, like, focus it on, in on where it wants it. And all of the exhibit isn't terrain, like raised terrain. It's... I think it's about a third of raised terrain and then normal terrain for the rest of it. But it, it does have quite a lot of different, like, terrain types that it needs. Which you'll see in a minute as well. But this is also my last exhibit. So that means that in this Builder Zoo episode, um, well, not more of an episode, more of the whole mini-series, we've constructed the lions, the giraffes, the unicorns, and the Siberian tigers. And that's really all I do. There's nothing really more that we need. Four exhibits can easily get... Oh, I forgot the penguins and the penguins. Um, but five exhibits are really all you need. Um, and because they each kind of cater to a different area of the world with penguins... Hmm. You know, actually, now I think about it, they don't. Wow. Fail there by me. <laughs> but um, we have land animals. We have water animals. We have animals that don't even exist. I mean, that should be reason enough to come to this zoo to see a unicorn. Have you ever seen a unicorn? No, I didn't think so. So as you can see, the li Ugh, lions? Siberian tigers need quite a lot of different terrain options here. And I'm putting them all down. And but you can see that zookeeper recommendations list is still quite long, so there's obviously quite a lot of things I need to do with this exhibit. But wow, look at all the people just walking down those paths. I think if I had kept this zoo going, I could have easily made back the profit that, um, of course, the money that I got at the first, on the first episode. Um, but yeah, there's not really much to talk about now. All I'm really doing in these last two episodes is just making sure the zoo's running smoothly, just catering to any of the animal's further needs. I'm not really building anything new, apart from um, an elephant ride, I think, I build in the last episode, which will be, yeah, of course, the last episode to be released of Zoo Tycoon. But that's another thing. Um, would any of you people out there in the audience... <laughs> wow, did I really just say that? Oh, whatever. Um, but would anyone like to see any more Zoo Tycoon? Um, th the thing is, as a game play person, I want to kind of get everyone involved, and I want to kind of get everyone's favourite game types, like first person shooters, adventures, tycoon games like this. I want to kind of get, reach out to everyone and, and make this channel a channel that everyone can enjoy by, you know, incorporating different times of gameplay into our videos. And ultimately, that's kind of our goal is to kind of reach out to everyone, of us already, as, oh, as I've already said, and to... It's hard to explain, really, but I just want to make this channel something that everyone can enjoy. Everyone can just, like, come home from school and just watch it, just be entertained. And I know that's a pretty big goal, since I'm in nowhere near entertaining, but... Um, I just want to make this channel something that everyone can enjoy. And I know I'm not starting off well with Zoo Tycoon, a game that not many people know, but hopefully, as I've already said, that will branch out to things like Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which of course, as I've already said, you can put in the comments section which one you'd like to see, or if you'd like to see both Sonic 3 and Knuckles, as I just said. Um, you know, things like that. Um, I do have a PS3, um, which is what I was saying about the Sonic 06 thing in episode 2, I think that I'd maybe do a let's play of that, um, but I, I will show gameplay of PS3 games, that's essential. 
I really want to do that. I really want to not focus on PC, not like give it a favour of ours. Because as we're a gaming trio, we all prefer different types of games. And I don't usually play on the PC. So, of course, Zoo Tycoon was quite a new game to me, even though I'd already played it about five years ago. But um, I'm more of a PS3 gamer and I don't usually play on the PC, and even if I do play on the PC, um, it's mainly PC games, not Flash games online or something, like RuneScape and things like that. But as you can see now, I'm just checking the zoo, just checking my balance and things like that. I'm just seeing what everything does, because I haven't really experimented with all the different kind of things. <laughs> But anyway, I will, of course, learn what they are if we get requested to do further Zoo Tycoon gameplay. So please, please voice your opinions over the comments sections. See if this is kind of what you want, or kind of... Wow, I say kind of a lot, don't I? <laughs> but um, this kind of gameplay type that you like, the commentary with the Tycoon game. Anyway, it's coming to the end of the video. So this is Sam and Zoo Tycoon signing out.